Welcome. The purpose of this video is to walk you through how to reprint an invoice from the invoice archive. To do this, I'm going to start by going to letter A, point of sale, number six, the invoice archive file, and finally letter A, reprint invoices. Now ignoring the rest of the screen, if I know the reference number of the ticket I need to reprint, I'm simply going to type it here, 100 if I didn't have a number in the first character like I do, in this case it's representing which store I'm selling from, you do not need to enter all of the leading zeros. I'm going to press the begin button at the bottom of the screen and it's going to return for me the ticket that I wanted. In the upper right hand corner, the F1 and F2 buttons will allow me to scroll through invoices if perhaps additional invoices with the same reference number exist which can happen if you've been on the system for a while and your reference numbers have rolled over. F5 will allow me to start over. Control C will allow me to add a comment right here. And Control E will allow me to email this. Now, those are the keystrokes. I can just as easily click on that button with my mouse if I'd like. I can also print this ticket. So if I wanted to reprint this to paper for the customer's reference, I can do that from here. To get out of this screen, I can click Escape and it'll take me back to the previous menu. Now let me run through this screen really quickly to show you exactly what the options are. If I go into reprint invoices again, in the upper left hand corner it's asking me whether the ticket is finalized or pending. Pending could be a quote that hasn't been deleted or finalized, it could be a hold ticket, a pick ticket, any kind of ticket that hasn't been finalized yet. If I click on this it's going to give me the option of a DPH which is a pending record or pulling a ticket out of TAFH, which is considered our archive. The screen defaults to the archive, assuming that most of the time when you come in here, you're going to be reprinting finalized invoices, but that can be changed. In the far right hand side, you're asked whether or not you'd like to run this report through the background or the foreground. If you need to reprint a series of actual invoices for a customer, so they don't want just a line item, perhaps with the account number, the date, and the grand total, but they actually want to see each invoice, and it's going to be more than one, you can absolutely do this through the background. When you say yes to run the report in the background, it's going to open up this batch number. You choose which V1 batch you want to run it through. And then the output to will need to obviously be printer instead of screen. On the left hand side, you can choose which printer that you want to print to. The cash printer and the charge printer are 99% of the time identical unless you have a reason for them to be different. And the print batch is which batch that this is going to go through. Now the reason it's asking you for a print batch is because we have had customers in the past who wanted to rerun an entire run of monthly tickets for some reason. And we didn't want to interrupt the people at the counter who were running current invoices. So it allows you to change the print batch if you want to to an additional batch that's in your system. If you would like some help with this, please make sure to give us a call. On the right, invoice options. What invoice format do you want to use? This should be locked in with the invoice format that you use regularly, and you can change it if you need to if you happen to know what the number or letter is that you want to replace this with. If you're not sure, leave this alone. Override suppress price options. In the case that you have suppress price options set up for this particular account, do you need to override them? So is this maybe a copy of an invoice for the accountant and they need to see the prices, where on a typical print you wouldn't print those. And then allow cash receipt on reprint, yes or no. Next, my cursor goes back to that area where it says reference number range. I can leave this empty if I'm looking for things like a series of tickets for one account or a series of tickets for a particular day or if I don't know the reference number. Otherwise, I can either enter a range or I can simply enter a single reference number. In the case that I'm printing out more than one invoice, how do you want to sort it? If you leave this blank, it's going to sort it by reference number. If you are reprinting a series of tickets from a particular day and you want it to sort by account number, you can enter that information here. And finally, our compare options box allows you to filter the information that you're seeing if you're printing out a group of invoices or if you really have no idea what your reference number is. In the case that you happen to know the date of the invoice and or the account number, you can add this information here. Use the Shift F1 help in the lower right hand corner to give you the list of all available fields that can be used for filter. I'm going to press the home key to return back to the main screen. There is a video on how to use the compare option within this collection, so please reference that video if you'd like some more information about how to fill out the compare option box.
And the button's on the bottom. Far left is to escape or exit out of the screen. Control P allows you to print it. Control W allows you to either print or display to your screen, whatever you've selected here. And F10 allows you to save the parameters in this window in the case that you want to change the invoice format or perhaps you want to change which printer that these items go to. So in the case that you have decided that you want to run all the invoices for a particular account, I come down here, account number equals L102. I hit the enter key and then I click on my begin. I can F2 and as long as the F2 shows up in yellow, it means there's another ticket to follow. I can click on that and scroll through all of the invoices for this account for a particular date range or for this account simply since the beginning of time. Once I'm done with this screen, I simply press the escape key and it takes me back to the previous menu. There are a number of different ways to reprint invoices from a number of different locations in the system. This is the easiest one and the most accessible for anyone who works at the counter. Please check out some of our other videos if you'd like to find invoices in another location in the system. If you are in need of any additional assistance, please feel free to call us at 800-829-4722 or send us an email at sbctraining at Thank you so much for your time.